there, future scientists. Welcome back to Tutoring with Techie Tamika. Today, we've got a really super cool topic that's going to help you understand temperature like a pro. You're going to learn how to read a thermometer. So grab your curious minds and let's dive in. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on my videos. Let's get into today's lesson. Thermometers come in all shapes and sizes, but don't worry, they all work in a similar way. We're going to focus on the basics to make it super easy, just for you. First things first, let's understand the different parts of a thermometer. This long tube is called the thermometer's stem. Can you say that? Stem. And at the end, there's a bulb, like a light bulb. Inside the stem, you might see some liquid. It could be mercury or colored alcohol. Now, let's talk about how to read the temperature. On most thermometers, you'll see numbers going up the side. These numbers tell us how hot or cold it is. Now, if you're using a digital thermometer, it's even easier. Just look at the numbers on the screen. No need to squint or count lines. For thermometers with a liquid inside, check where the liquid level stops. That's your temperature. Sometimes temperatures are measured in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Fahrenheit is mostly commonly used in the United States and Celsius is used in many other parts of the world. Make sure you know which scale your thermometer is using. You might have seen thermometers outside your home. These are outdoor thermometers and they help us know if it's a sunny day or a chilly day. If you ever get sick, a doctor might use a special thermometer to check your body temperature. It goes under your tongue or in your ear. Some may even touch your forehead and it helps them figure out if you have a fever. Cooking something delicious? Oven thermometers help chefs make sure the temperature inside the oven is just right for baking cookies or roasting veggies. Mmm, my fave. All right, let's practice. If the outdoor temperature reads 25 degrees Celsius, how would you describe the weather? That's right, it's a warm day. Now let's practice reading the exact degrees. The numbers determine the degrees of the temperature. Let's practice. All right, now let's go ahead and see if we can test our knowledge on reading a thermometer, okay? So let's look closely here. If we look at each one of these little lines on the scale, they are representing a number. Even if the numbers are not visual, we will use our mathematician logic to determine what the missing numbers could be. So if this is zero, and I see that this is 10 here, and we're counting by tens, I can detect that each one of these below should be one through nine. Let's check. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that makes 10. So if I keep this process going, then I would know that this would be 11 through 19, 21 through 29, 31 through 39, 41 through 50. Wow, do you see that? So I can determine that here would be zero, one, two, three. That has to be three degrees. <laughs> Look how easy that is. All right, let's try another one. Okay, what are we counting by? I'm gonna observe that we are counting by what? Hmm, are we counting by fives? Are we count about tens? We're counting by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So if we keep going, but it stops here at 50 degrees, okay? Celsius. So let's look here. If I'm at 20 and I know that there had to be nine more to go to 30, I would count up. So I would have 21, 22, 23, 24, 
25, 26, 27 degrees has to be right here. It couldn't be 40 because 40 is way up here and zero is way down there. So this had to be 27 because there's seven notches up before it reaches 30. Do you see that? It's seven, seven little lines up past 20. So that's 27. Let's try one more. Okay, let's see here. If we have zero and we have 10, 20, 30, then I count up until I get to 40. We can obviously see that it must be between 30 and 40. So let's count up 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Wow, you guys are good at this. Now let's challenge those brains with a forecast question. All right, so let's look at this question here. Which day of the week is the coldest? The day of the week that's the coldest. Hmm. So on Monday, it was 26 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Tuesday, it was raining with 20... 20 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Wednesday, it was cloudy with 22 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Thursday, it was sunny, 25 degrees Celsius. That's equal to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And then Friday, it was sunny with 28 degrees Celsius. 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. So the question says, which day of the week is the coldest? So that must mean that I need to be looking for a number that is the lowest, coldest, smallest number. Okay. So if I observe out of Celsius, the smallest out of 26, 20, 22, 25, and 28 is 20. And also the lowest out of all the Fahrenheit temperatures, 80, 68, 72, 77, and 83, hmm, it's 68. So the coldest day of the week had to be Tuesday. Let's see. Yay! Good job, guys. Before we finish, let's talk about safety. Be careful with mercury thermometers. And if you ever see one broken, tell an adult right away. Also, don't forget to wash your hands after handling any thermometer. And there you have it, future meteorologists. You've learned the basics of how to read different types of thermometers. Pretty cool, right? Well, there's definitely more in store. So help Techie out and help me reach more kids and grow my channel. Make sure to subscribe to Techie Tamika. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, stay curious. There's an